What is that? Is it recess? Heck no, man. Class is in session. Greetings and salutations, YouTube, the World Wide Web. As you guys can see, man, it's your host with the most. Some of you guys' is father, Paul Cantu, back with a brand new sneaker customization video. Now, I have been blessed with the ultimate blank canvases of blank canvases. The fine folks at Puma have came through with the ultimate silhouette to customize. So without further ado, ladies and germs, let's hop in this box, see what we got, and get to customizing some sneakers. Ah, oh, yes. Look at that, New York City, baby. NYC, pop in the top, paper removed. Ooh, wee. I know you guys see it. The classic all-white silhouette of the Puma Ralph Sampson mids, daddy. Oh yes. We definitely are gonna put in some work with this dude right here. Let's get to it. All right, guys. The first supply you're gonna need to prep the shoe is some strong nail polish remover and these little cotton schwabs, man. Now you're gonna wanna apply a liberal amount of that nail polish remover soaking onto the little cotton schwab and then just scrub the shoe down in all the areas you're gonna paint, which in this case is the Puma logo and the little ankle upper support region of this kick. All right, man, let's get it. Take a good glance at that. The shoe is prepped and ready to paint. So of course I use the best Angelus Direct leather acrylic paint, link in the description. I chose yellow and I started filling in the Puma side logo because I wanted a nice and vibrant kind of sunshine theme with the color scheme. Oh yeah, we looking lovely. So the yellow was done, but I wanted to make it a little bit more interesting. So I started blending in some orange around the edges to create a nice gradient on the Puma side logo. And man, dude, I just have to say, this beat goes hard, dude. I feel like I'm in Hobby Lobby, except slightly more gangsta. <laughs> All right, so once the first coat was done, I had to go back and add two more coats, so three in total, just to ensure there was a nice, durable, thick, and well-blended paint job on this Puma logo. And I do believe I hit the nail on the head. Just look at those kicks. Lovely. Now is when things got a little weird on the shoes. I started adding some green forms. Now is this flubber? No. It's art. And it's what you interpret it to be. But better yet, it's Paul Plan 2. So of course I had to add some cactus on the shoes. With the first coat of paint, the cactus looked all right. But you guys know, I had to really build up the form. So I added some dark green into the mix and I really started going crazy with the shading. look 3d you have to have the shadows on point and the highlights on point so right now I'm doing the highlights with a bright yellow to contrast the dark green and that really will create a nice form in a 3d like structure on this shoes cacti encrusted surface when it comes to the shadows, they're of equal if not more importance than the highlights. So I had to contrast the yellow with a dark purple. It's more dynamic than using a flat black type of color. So yeah, man, I think it really added some depth and structure to this cactus. And I loved it, dude. Hells yeah. Okay, so shadows and highlights in place. But what is a cactus without its needles? It's nothing, dude. 
Let's add some spines. All right, so the spine color is going to be English tan. Now the brown just was a great color choice when it came to these needles. And shout out my big head for getting in the way of most of these shots, but you guys get the overall picture. I used a detail brush to add in those final details to really bring the cactus to life. So here is what the shoe looked like done. Now I did make the Puma logo look like it was going through the cactus, which definitely helped. But the second pair of shoes that I did looked a little bit more delicate and real. So I like that each shoe kind of is uniquely its own. And of course you gain more experience with the more shoes you do. But I think overall the kicks looked fantabulous. Now, if you guys thought that's where this video ended, boy, were you sorely mistaken. The fine folks at Puma included an all-white hoodie. So, yes, we're making a full custom fit in this ting. Okay, so step one with the hoodie was to slide in some cardboard. That way, the paint wouldn't bleed all the way through and disturb the backside of the hoodie. Then I whipped out the yellow paint once again, and I decided to freestyle some Puma branding with the cactus font letters. Now y'all might be looking at the letters and thinking to yourself, man, those aren't perfect. Heck no, man. A cactus is organic. Therefore, these letters are organic. You gotta keep it fun and funky and represent the spiky plant you're trying to create with the letters. So then I filled in all the letters with the yellow paint. It's always easier to start off with the light colored paint because you can correct any mistakes that you make. So that's why I filled in the letters with the yellow. Next, I repeated the same process I did to shade the cactus on the shoes with these cactus letters on the hoodie. And I must say, it was a breeze painting on this flat surface, you guys don't even know. Sometimes the curves of a sneaker make things 10 times more difficult. So I was able to just sit back, relax, and shade each and every letter to perfection. Perfect. And y'all let me know, are you digging the cactus theme? The reason I chose it is because it's simple, it's vibrant, and obviously I'm into the plants. So I think having the cactus letters was just a simple way to tie in a garment to a shoesticle. I don't even know what a shoesticle is, but it's provocative. All right, let's finish these letters. So once the letters were done, I whipped out a cardboard Puma logo I drew. And yes, I had to draw it on cardboard because it needed to be as close to perfect as possible. I just outlined this stencil with the number two pencil, and then it was time to fill it in with some yellow to match the hoodie to the shoe. Let's get it. Now that the yellow was completely filled in, I whipped out the orange just like on the shoes and it had the outside looking clean with that tangerine. Then I just faded it into the center creating a flawless gradient. And that overall made the hoodie look super interesting, which is what I loved. Last and not least, I had to add the spines on the cactus letters, turning this slime font into some cactus. Very similar to the sneakers, this is the most crucial step, and this time my big head wasn't in the way, which is amazing. And yes, before someone asks, you can wash the hoodie, and you also can throw it in the dryer and it'll be fine. I recommend air drying if you guys would like to paint on any garments though. It just is safer that way. And boom, there it is guys, a match made in heaven. You have the sneakers paired with the hoodie, a flawless duo. Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe if y'all enjoyed this. And without further ado, here's what it looks like on body.